Now, being fall, squashes are plenty right now, and uh, they're being used in a lot of different things. Some things you can do with the, these acorn squashes, uh, you can roast them in the oven, whole like this, or cut it in half, put a little butter and maple syrup on it, and you'll have a nice, sweet, buttery, uh, buttery squash. Uh, another thing, we're going to cut this in half now. You've got to be very careful with this. You, I mean, you can't damage this thing. So we're going to cut this in half, and I'm going to show you how thick the skin really is on this. This is just, uh, it's a beautiful root fall vegetable, but I mean, look at, that's, that's a tough piece of skin there. It also comes with seeds. Uh, you always want to clean the seeds out before you go too far with it. Um, you can do a spoon, scrape them out, and use your fingers like I'm doing, but you want to get them out. Now what I do with when I clean out a lot of these is I'll soak them in a little salt water and uh, put them in a sheet pan and let them dry out for a little bit and I'll pop them in the oven and it's like making pumpkin seeds. Squash seeds aren't much different than that and it's like a free little treat. Uh, one thing you can do with them too is once, once, if you do toast them like that you can also coat them in sugar and put them on top if you were to bake this with some honey or some, uh, uh, if you were to bake this and butter and maple syrup and you could put the seeds on top for a garnish too once they're roasted and, and sweetened. So we'll clean that out. I'll take my boning knife here just to get this all the way down. A spoon can't really do that much on this because this is a very very hard vegetable. Summer squash, uh, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, they're all, they're all very difficult. And then just scrape till you get to the meat. And scrape away from you. Don't scrape in towards you because you could hurt yourself. Always keep the knife away from you when doing items like this. Okay. We're going to clean our seeds out of here. We won't be making toasted seeds today. There we go. Make sure you wipe your board down. Always keep a clean board. Makes things go along a lot easier. And as you as you cut things, as we've been cutting, I've been kind of putting them in a plate on the side. Um, you don't want to clutter your board and have your celeries here and your carrots are here and your onions here and your garlics here because then you're out of room to cut. So always have a plate or some type of a tray that you want to stage your vegetables on so that they're not in your way at all times. Now I'm just going to show you how tough this is. These peelers aren't really, they can do it but because of the indentations it's not going to get it all. So what a lot of times, what you're going to have to do is you kind of like square it off. So I just kind of take my paring or my boning knife and cut down the sides. You don't want to take too much of the meat off, but you certainly don't want to eat the peel. Once again, always cut on a flat surface. And it takes a little bit of time, but good things don't always come real fast. As you see at this end here, we've got it fairly clean. And you can hear just how tough this squash really is. Now I'm going to get it all the way clean because I'm, I don't want to have any, any particles on it. So your French knife won't, won't be able to do that because it, it's too much ground to cover. It's, you're going to 
it's gonna end up looking like a golf ball. So that's how you would clean it. Now there's all different types of cuts we can do to this. We can do a large dice, we can do a small dice. One thing you can do too, oh, there's a piece there. Okay, now, uh, now that we have it totally clean, you can cut it into little, like half moons, if you want to call it like that, and you can roast these in the oven this way. Um, you can also do a dice on it. Well, the way I would dice it is to cut it like that, and then I lay it on a flat surface. And dice it. This would be this size would be for soups only, pretty much, because this is a pretty hearty vegetable, and you want to eat it. Uh, you want to have nice nice pieces for it. So this is a good cut for like you can feel it, but cut it on a flat surface. You can hear the pressure that you have to put in. That's why you have a sharp knife, not a dull knife. And that's one way that you can work with the acorn squash. Now, if something like this, what I would like to do with this is toss in a little butter, maybe just a touch of brown sugar and cinnamon, and a little maple syrup, bake it in the oven until it comes out soft to the touch. And this size probably be about 20 minutes. Now, if you were to wanted to roast them whole, you could roast it like whole like this, but it'd take a lot of time because of the size. So put on a flat side and cut it, and you can do it in quarters. And here's where you would put in your syrup and butter and a little bit of seasoning on the side. Pop them in the oven, and these would probably take you about 45 minutes or so. Uh, 